Extracting a round duct from point cloud is as easy as clicking a button. Go to the scan to BIM tab in Revit and click on fit round duct button. Next click on a point on a duct that you want to extract. Make sure to click on the straight portion of the duct, away from elbows, tees, or any other object. In a few seconds, the add-in will extract the duct and display a pop-up. The pop-up shows a 3D view on the left where you can verify the fit between the extracted duct and the point cloud. Clicking on Reset View button resets the orientation of the view so that you are examining the cross-section of the duct again. On the right side, you can select the duct's level, system type, and duct type. If the duct has insulation, click on Add Insulation checkbox, select the type of insulation and the insulation thickness. If the duct has lining, then click on Add Lining checkbox, select the type of lining and the lining thickness. Below you'll see the detected outer diameter of the duct as well as a text field to enter the modeled outer diameter. Delta is the difference between the two. Clicking on Change Diameter to make Delta 0 button will adjust the modeled diameter so that Delta is 0. Click on the OK button to create the duct. Let's try extracting one more duct which is slightly more difficult for the add-in to extract. As you can see, the duct that the add-in extracted doesn't match the point cloud at all. In such cases where there are small ducts that's connecting two long ducts, it's possible for the add-in to get confused. In such cases, use the polygon crop tool to isolate the points belonging to the straight portion of the duct and then extract the duct. Click on polygon crop button. Now draw a convex polygon around the duct of interest as close to it as possible and press escape. You should only see points within the polygon now. It's better to change the orientation of the view slightly to confirm that there are no points directly in front of the duct that didn't get cropped. Now extract the duct using the fit round duct tool. When you are done extracting the duct, click on clear crop button. Do not undo the operation using Ctrl Z otherwise further extraction may not work. Make sure to use clear crop button to undo the cropping of the points. Here are three ducts that we have already extracted using the fit round duct tool. Note that the laser scan of the first duct on the top wasn't continuous. So we extracted two segments from the same duct. Now we want to connect all these ducts. It's easier to connect the ducts when the point cloud is hidden in the view. So let's click on show hide point clouds button to hide the point cloud. Note that this step is optional. Connecting the ducts will work the same irrespective of whether the point cloud is hidden or visible. Ducts extracted using our scan to BIM add-in will fit very well with the point cloud. But Revit may not allow connecting them if their axes are not in the same plane. As you can see in the video, we are not able to connect the two ducts using trim extend to corner tool. To connect the two extracted ducts, we'll need use the align and connect button provided in our add-in. But before that, you need to make sure that the duct elbows and transitions are already loaded. You can verify that by selecting a duct, clicking on edit type, editing routing preferences and making sure that elbow and transition fittings are defined. If not, you'll first need to load the appropriate families in Revit and configure them in duct types routing preferences. To connect the ducts, click on align and connect button. Then select all the ducts in a run that you want to connect. Make sure to select them in the same order in which they are supposed to be connected. In other words, duct 1 will connect to duct 2, duct 2 will connect to duct 3 and so on. Once you are done selecting all the ducts in a run, press escape. The scan to BIM add-in will optimize the ducts and the angles between them so that they connect with each other with minimal error. It should be pretty quick but it can take up to 20 seconds when some elbows are more than 90 degrees or ducts are almost but not exactly in a straight line. Once it's done, it will show a pop-up listing the ducts which seem to be forming a T-connection and not an elbow. You will need to add the T-connections manually. In some cases, such as in the video, the add-in may misidentify a connection as T instead of an elbow. 
just connect them using an elbow using rabbit's trim slash extend to corner tool. Let's check the connection on the top where we had to split up a single duct into two different segments. The align and connect tool has connected them as well. The other connection has also automatically been created using a reducer and an elbow.